Good morning, friends. So does consistency matter when it comes to your diet? In today's video, I just wanted to share with you a lesson that I learned from my hardy kiwi plants that I was literally about to rip out. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is I often get you know questions from great folks like you. Hey Mike, I've tried the keto diet or the carnivore diet or zero carb or paleo, whatever the, the diet is. I did it for three or four weeks. You know, I noticed some initial results and then things have plateaued. And I just wanted to let you all know that you know, how long we've been overweight or out of shape or lacking metabolic flexibility or uh, inactive is gonna determine how long we need to be on a exercise program or a particular diet to notice some great results. And here's the lesson, here's the metaphor. Um, these hardy kiwi plants that I planted three years ago, and I planted them all along, you know, my backyard is like a barrier to, you know, discourage chickens from jumping into our gardens and provide some privacy. That's our master bedroom right there, okay? I was literally about to rip these plants out because they haven't been fruiting. It's been three years. I wanted some fruit. I thought, gosh, maybe I, you know, when I bought them from uh, Keep It Simple Farm, maybe I bought a bunch of male plants and male plants don't fruit. I thought, you know, because they're growing, but there's no fruit. And just as I was pruning them this morning, check this out, three years later, it's gonna be hard for you to see, see those little fruits right there. And I have another kiwi plant right there and I see all these little fruits starting to grow. And it just dawned on me that things take time. Three years of me pruning, watering, putting compost, putting wood chips, and finally they're starting to fruit. Now, some of you are like, Mike, I don't have three years to lose this belly fat. I need to lose it now. I get it. But we need to have patience, friends. Good things don't happen overnight. And I just thought that, you know, we have to, nature has patience. We need to have patience as well with our health improvements. And so, you know, if, just because your co coworker or colleague uh, or your friend or your neighbor lost 10 pounds in a month, you know, maybe that's not realistic for you or maybe it's gonna take you two months to lose the same amount of weight. So I just wanted to let you, remind you and let you know that nature has patience built into uh, its changes and its adaptations. And so I think we all should approach our diet lifestyle feeding and fasting pattern with a bit of patience. So that's today's lesson for you on my iPhone this morning. Also wanna let you know that later today we're doing a webinar all about DHEA. It's gonna be a really, it's part two. We actually did one on Wednesday. I think quite a few of you, we had over 700 people sign up for it and so forth, quite a few live. But if you wanna tune into that, it's gonna be today, Friday, May 8th at noon Pacific. And I would love for you to be a part of that. It's gonna be uh, a great conversation all about DHEA, the hormone made by your adrenal glands that's intimately involved in a myriad of different metabolic and immune functions and mood and memory, cognition. Uh, DHEA is, is really important. So. Um, it's a hormone I've been, you know, taking, supplementing myself for a number of years, and I think you should as well. That's, that's my rooster lavender back there trying to say good morning to you. So uh, remember, have patience. Good things take time. And no kidding, this year I was about to rip these out, and all of a sudden they're fruiting. So uh, have a great weekend, all. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.